All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJ Face, and I am really excited to let you know what we're doing tonight. Well, Chris, he's actually inside right here. He's eating his ice cream. Um, we just got here to the gas station. We loaded up the pit bikes, as you can see here in the back. We are gonna do what we call some nighttime exploring and nighttime riding at the farm. Hope you like this video, because if not, We'll have another video maybe for you or something like that. Who knows? But um, no, for real. Much love to everybody who has subscribed to the channel recently. We have seen like a surge in subscribers. It means a lot to us. We're going to give you all some good content. Let's go. Hey, what you hey, eating there, buddy? I got what some it? cotton candy ice cream. Oh, my God. Mm, that's so creamy oh. and delicious. Oh. oh, you had that ice cream? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> wait, 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 what happened? What happened? The size of a cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, oh, it's a murder hornet. No, oh, bro, no, oh, it's a murder it's hornet, bro. Whoa, it's coming after me. <laughs> Yo, it's coming after me. What are you doing? <laughs> a big, it's a big. Oh, we don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if y'all just saw that, but Chris just like freaked out over like some murder hornet flying around. You know, actually, I was really excited about, um, you know, after we had to wear our masks and stuff. Um, I was really excited for the murder hornet thing because I was like, man, that's going to be a fun one. You know what I mean? You walk outside and you got to be like dodging that shit. That would be way more fun than wearing a mask again. I, I wish they would pull that on us and be like, yo, <laughs> this is what's next. Murder hornets. That was a missed opportunity for sure. That it was so much fun. So thankfully, we have John with his headlights here. We also have the Raptor here, and uh, we got two pit bikes. Got a nice, sizable-looking jump over there. It's going to be some fun. Um, so yeah. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to go in the house real quick. We're just going to look around. We're just going to say, hey, what's yeah. up to the ghost? You know what I mean? We're riding pit bikes. We are riding pit bikes, but we got to go say hello first. House? Don't mind the back of my truck right now. It's it's a little dirty. Here, you want to hold the light? Yeah. Love it. All right, I'm following you. It's starting to get cold enough now where we're gonna start going in the woods. Why do you always open the door and like? Cause I wanna make sure no one's gonna like fly at me or something. What the hell is that? Why are there dolls here? Oh, we had two dolls from um, fans. Oh, two cool. Showed up. Hey, shout out to some fans here. Look at that one, it's like <laughs> tied up. Oh no. Oh no, oh, oh my, oh, what are they doing to this stuff? I think they said it was doing weird stuff in the house and they had to like put it away somewhere. So they like locked it up. No way. Yeah. Probably one of the most incredible nights here so far. I feel oh, who what? moved that? No, seriously, who moved that? That's been over there. We have not we have not touched that. <laughs> that's so weird. Oh god. Okay, that's I'm weird. Online. I was here yesterday. I mean I, I was here this morning. I was I was mowing this morning before we bumped for motorcycles. I'm gonna play Yola. What I call a tune. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That wasn't the right one. What are you doing? <laughs> that was a nice tune, damn it, okay? It? Everyone in here enjoyed that. What keys were you hitting? Oh, the, the. You can't hear it, but if you were a ghost, they're all like. <laughs> Oh, this place. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My one ball, I landed on the one ball. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what else can we jump over? Hey, let's go in the garage and do a burnout. Okay. No, no, no. Oh my God, Chris, Chris. <laughs> I told you Chris, not to do that. Chris, Chris, <laughs> Chris. 
Okay. I'll never. Right. Like, yeah, I wish. I fucking oh. wish. <laughs> your life flashed before your eyes right there. Because <laughs> you were going with it, too. I couldn't. If I'd have let off, the momentum was already taking me in the hole, bro. Keep shifting gears. You're trying I to get traction. I was going to. You gotta hit all the gears. As a lot of y'all saw in the last video, this, this hole here, um... Mm-hmm. Huh. Who's yelling? That's like some type of animal, right? I don't know. The fuck would it be? I have no clue. I don't like that. It's an animal. <laughs> Love your optimism. <laughs> Me too. All right, what do you think the odds are that I could ride the pit bike across these? How many are you going to put out there so you don't die? Oh, that was that, that worked really well. I think that was an omen. Just I think that's what you're going to sound like when you're done. <laughs> what, that? <laughs> when you're in the hole and the bike's on top of you and I can't get down there to help you. Okay, we forgot to tell you something here. Okay, this thing here, we bought at Goose on the Roof Antiques. It was sitting in the back. Miss Gwen was like, hey, listen, if you guys just get this thing out of here, make me an offer on it. So we did. And long story short, um, ladies, you all might, might recognize this one. Possibly. Yeah, we didn't realize it was that kind of table until we actually got it and it's like sticky not saying that it's sticky from that but i'm just saying like it's been sitting a while chris see you're turning this, you're turning oh, this you. oh what was that i thought it was plastic <laughs> whoa, whoa. it's a ghost rider it's a fucking ghost rider oh hey Genuine beer in your face. That was awesome. I think I just broke this thing officially, and we probably are gonna have carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Right, everybody instead of doing like a, a separate video on the house I've had a lot of people who have thrown up questions and, and all of this so on burnt bridge as you can see right here behind me uh, this was a place that it's a staple of the channel and a lot of people don't may not understand that they're like CJ why did you just buy a random place it's how do you know it's haunted well I knew it was haunted from damn near the day that I ever stepped foot on this bridge um, just had some of the weirdest stuff happen out here and a lot of you all know about what we call the ritual book house now this is something if you're local to the area you pretty much know about this place and I mean it's been a like before I started filming YouTube videos this place was abandoned probably 12 to 15 years now I don't know how much you can see but I'll show you here in just a minute I'm gonna give you the rundown on this uh, we've gone inside this house plenty of times investigated inside of there weird activity and as most of you may or may not have known it was always saying across the street or further away and 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 something was telling us inside of this house when we had spirit box sessions all of that that something was on the other side right and it also said the other side and i believe in one of the instances it actually said creek so the creek that the property is on and this house is on that's actually what is um separating 
the property technically so the house so basically the house behind me it burnt down and unfortunately there's a lot of there's a ton of rumors and speculation about what actually happened who did what um what was the reason and purpose behind it why would someone do something like this well a couple of different reasons um teenagers obviously uh are maybe not um I don't want to group all of them together because we were all young and dumb at one point or another. I personally believe, and basically the town also believes, that's what happened. Um, it was started by some type of accelerant from what I heard. I've not seen the official report, so you can't really hold that against me, but um, speculation goes that there were kids going in there, they went in there, they burnt the house down for whatever reason. and it's. It's strange, nonetheless. <clears throat> the history of that house, we have no idea about. We only could go off of what we got when we were doing the Spirit Talker and all that kind of stuff, the Spirit Box sessions back in the day. Now, if you remember when Omar, Kristar, and Tiffany, we all went in there one night and we actually had the black truck pull up right there. Basically, we were back there in the woods. I'm, I'm gonna give you all a synopsis about this really quick, okay? So, where my truck is parked right there, that is around about where the black truck stopped that night <clears throat> and i'm actually going to put a link in the description of the video but it's hard to see but that's the garage right there and then there's like another structure that's kind of the house what you can see a little bit of but there's a walkway in between there and in between that walkway that is where we had to sneak out of we sneaked out of right through here ran down and we ran along the side of the bridge jumped over booked it back to our vehicles and you know basically the rest is history after that i also have to tell you all to consider something uh i i had a couple of people say cj you need to explain this on your video this can't happen um sometimes energy i've not personally witnessed this but people say that sometimes there's so much energy within a place that can cause a spark and did the spark happen at the right time the right place the right area who knows i personally do not believe that whatsoever so i'm here at my warehouse that all of my motivated apparel is basically stored in and we are going to be doing the announcement of the winner in this exact video here in just a little bit but what we're waiting on is all of the pre-order pokemoke ranch hoodies to come in we're gonna be opening up this big door here in just a little bit going through boxes upon boxes upon boxes of hoodies so when we did a pre-order we said hey listen i am picking somebody random to come ghost hunting with me chris and dylan and later on in this video, we're going to be announcing that winner. It's going to be a busy day today. And then not, not to mention, we got Dylan behind the camera today. Chris is at the uh, farm mowing. And then I had two boxes come in because on a live stream, I had said, hey, if you all have like a haunted doll or you just got a doll that's creepy and just weirds you out, send it to my P.O. Box, which is P.O. Box 326, uh, Felton, Delaware, 19943. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. She's ancient. Dude. Listen. Oh, her eyes move. What? Oh, dude, that is so creepy. Oh, so. Oh, Dylan, look at that. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is that? All right, so we got. Dude. I was trying to get the. Look, I have the note here. Sorry. You okay? Stay. The hell are we doing here, Chris? Well, what are you doing? What are you, what are you having us do? Is the question. Well, I've, I've got the casket here, so uh, yeah. A lot of you know this casket from a previous uh, couple of videos, and I also dumped it out of the back of the truck one time. Life new barely has any miles, folks. Come on, barely has a bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's coming off the car, so it's gonna she? Yeah. Is she in here? Who's she? She's one owner. She's got you a one owner clean auto check. I wonder who actually in this world besides me who owns a casket like I'm, I'm saving money because of inflation Yeah, you bought it when it was cheap. So when you need it, you have it, you know, do you think I'm no, serious in all seriousness though? I got a casket that I can be in right Jane burning this body. I've worked too fucking hard in my life for this right, but think about this Okay, mm -hmm. in theory. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah we're well, just I bought a casket because of inflation. I didn't want my family to have to Suffer and spend more money 
on me for no reason. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I'm dead it's logical. logical. It's empty. <laughs> it is empty. It's All empty right. for now. Like a bowling autonomous <laughs> shop, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 what you do? <laughs> Damn. I'm like to button. drop it 3,000. That's the one that looks like a sapphire. Fuck <laughs> 9,000. How many people are going to take a picture and put this on Facebook? There's a casket in the back of a foreground! <laughs> YouTube CJ Faces. <laughs> Just right there. I would. Uh, there's no reason not to. We've, we've done everything. Repos. I'm going to put like funeralhomeconspiracy.com. <laughs> so I want to go ahead and congratulate Emily Santos Stefano for winning the trip to come and basically, well not the trip, but the experience of coming to the Pokemoke Ranch and investigating. Again, you are allowed to pick you and three of your friends to basically come on a ghost hunt. And me, Chris, and Dylan, or at least me and Chris are definitely gonna be there. We're gonna try and drag Dylan into this. We're gonna ghost hunt with you for about an hour and then let you go for the rest of the night. Have the farm to yourself. You can perform any kind of an investigation, but huge shout out to you, Emily. We're gonna be reaching out to you. So if you see this video and you've noticed like some weird phone calls or whatever and some emails, just know it's us trying to give you a shout. So anyway, congratulations to that. Now back to the video. I really hope this is the last time that there's a casket in the back of my truck. I'm just gonna be honest with you. And I mean, I think Chris could probably testify the same thing. It's like, it's just, it looks a little funny going down the road. And a lot of people are questioning, like, why do you have a casket in the back of your truck? So cats have traveled more than most people have traveled in their whole life. That, that is actually true. I, I, you know what I want to do? I just realized this. Every time I come out of this house, I look at that hole in that tree and I I just, I've got to imagine there's something up there. There is something up there, it's white. Look at that, Chris. It's like a page from here, isn't it? <laughs> you still haven't done that yet, and I've done that. Alone? A uh, nighttime alone. Uh, imagine a body in it? I'm about to say, make sure ain't nobody in here before we take it inside. <laughs> <laughs> he rode the whole way. <laughs> I got you guys. Oh boy, you might look oh. oh no. He is. Oh god. Oh god, you good? Yeah. <laughs> got a good grip on it. Jeez. Oh, oh. That's what I was saying. Just like that, folks, we got a casket in the kitchen. Chris has got uh, the path kind of cleared out down here. Let me show you really quick. We have uh, a lot of metal poles, tons of shingles from like a roof. Like did they bury a house or something? They might have, I mean, who knows? People people did weird stuff back in the old days. What's that one? Old Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Look, there's a, there's another pipe right beside it too. Yeah, this is a weird one. But where'd it come from? There might be a house out here now. There might be. I just found a giant metal plate back up that way. And I thought there was like a bunker. So I started like digging around just in case. No I don't way. Know. It was just the way it was like just flat and sitting there. It was so weird. The moment that everybody's been waiting for is happening in the very next video. So be ready for that. Probably gonna come out in the next four to five days. But uh, right where the skid steer sits, the bucket of the skid steer, that's where we're gonna dig. And uh, for lack of better judgment, we're gonna use the skid steer. We're just gonna kinda scoop a couple of inches off every single time, just see if there's anything down there, and then uh, I guess go from there. So our shooting range. Chris, can you turn that off real quick? Hang on, hurry up. What the hell was that? You all had to be able to hear that on camera. All right, there's a plane. Yeah. Has your camera notifications going off? I don't see anything. My watch is dying. What's wrong? Listen really carefully. You can tell if there's people at the bridge because the bridge is that way. It's something more this way. To me it sounded, honestly it sounded as if it was like, it sound, to, I don't know, to me that, that whole thing, like it's, what did that sound like dude? Like you didn't, did you hear any of it? I don't know. They're like high pitch. That was really weird.
now I'm like actually like pretending like I'm hearing things. Yeah. I'm like psyching myself out that I'm hearing something. I just heard something for sure. What's got us confused is if it was someone on the bridge, that's one thing, but it, it honestly sounded like it was like down the driveway or That's something back over there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it sounded like. Yes. There's people talking. There's people talking. There's people talking. Somebody's back there in the fucking woods, dude. Listen. That voice. Hundred percent. Kill it. Kill it. Am I going crazy now? Hello? Weird. Clear voices. You can feel right there? Is that somebody that just ran through those woods? Were you looking over there or no? I didn't see it, the, the grass is so tall. You saw I thought I did, like straight back over here. Try to zoom, man. It's <laughs> a bird, but those voices. Did not sound human. What the fuck? It sounded like a saw. It was not. Like a...
was that? Actual fuck, what was that? I have no idea. Hello? Who the fuck's out here? You're trespassing, just letting you know you're going to fucking jail, buddy. Sure, that was a voice? Huh? I just saw something going on. Where? What's that between the trees? Like, wait up. What is happening right Was now? that a guy's voice? It sounded like a man's voice. I don't I don't really know. It sounded like like a saw, like something going earlier, but that there, I have no idea. Camera had to have picked that up. Huh? The camera had to have picked that up. Hundred percent. I hope. I hope and pray, Dave. I feel like I'm like seeing things move over here. There's definitely shit moving back there. Hundred percent. There's just so much woods back here, man. A good thing to do in the woods. If you all are ever lost or ever need to literally look and scan, a good thing to do is get low like this. And if that way there's any movement out there, you can see it. So. Hello? Stay right here, Chris. I'm not trying to be stupid or anything, but Chris is gonna keep a lookout back there. This pathway that he was talking about kind of leads over to that way. God, Chris. You gonna come with me? I think so. They usually do that when there's something out there. The crows do? Oh. Birds are always a sign of life. Something's got them stirred up. Like, I, I thought that was like a more straight path into those woods. Oh. oh. Wait a second, buddy. I saw something like white or reflected down there. But it's on that way. What are you seeing? I don't know. I, it's my eyes playing tricks on me, to be honest with you. <clears throat> what? Look down here and look straight down that way. Do you see that? It's like opening way down there? Looks like there's someone standing down there. Oh, shit! Chris! Right? It looks wait. like someone's standing right in that opening. Like a Do white you hat. think that's somebody? Like, this might be a person. They're wearing like a white hat. What else would that be? I have no idea. <gasps> Listen. They're going crazy. Those birds over there are going nuts. I've never heard the birds do that here. Not, Not like, like this that. crazy, at least. I know we never have crows here. This way, dude. 
We're like seeing stuff here, but we're hearing stuff there. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm gonna theorize something. A lot of you all were commenting in past videos about like this could be a really, really active area for Bigfoot. I've personally never seen him. I don't really know if I believe in it or not. We could come Bigfoot hunting, I guess, but like that's like. I swear to God, I fell asleep watching Bigfoot videos on YouTube last night. Did you really? Yeah, how's that, that history show or whatever? I was watching on YouTube, dude. <laughs> you got me freaked out right now. I wasn't Did, even thinking Bigfoot. I don't even. I don't think they attack though, so I think that's good. Because nobody. You know of. Well, I, no, nobody ever comes back to tell about it. Because nobody's ever seen one. Get snatched up. What's that? I want you all to comment below your opinions and theories on Bigfoot, like. And if y'all want us to go Bigfoot hunting, we'll go Bigfoot hunting. Not hunting, but like, we'll go search for him. Stand right here for half an hour. Yeah, we just, we'll pop up chairs, man. I think it'd be like a fun time. But also, I think one of the, the things to remember is like, you're gonna hear stuff in the woods. Like this is where my YouTube channel started was in the woods. So I'm not necessarily afraid of anything in the woods. I feel very comfortable being in the woods, but it's, I don't know now. That is right behind us. Hello? Hello? There's like something walking over there. Could be a deer, could be something, but. Look how open that is. I never realized how far like, that side goes out. Well, look how like open that is, and then look how like there's no vegetation down in between the trees in here. What the fuck is that? That's what I heard earlier. Hello? I mean, somebody's got something out here. That's like, that's an electronic like signal. What would somebody be doing with electronic signals out here? Lost or something? Trying to like radio somebody? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Okay. What is that? I have no idea. There has to be somebody out here. Hello? I don't want to Dude, Let's just go get the dirt bikes. This was dumb for us to have them this far away. Wait, what? Did you say something? Hello? That, that's a fucking radio. Isn't it? Somebody like die out here. Can you go grab the pit bikes and push them up here real fast? my opinion real fast I think he did it again Chris I think either someone was out here earlier and lost a radio and it's like Either they're trying to find it and they're in the woods. Well, I'm not trying I'm not trying to freak us out right now or anything, but like do you think like somebody's in the woods looking for their radio and they keep keying it? That's what it sounds like. You know how like you call a radio like yeah. da -da -da. like the 
communicate if they communicate with each other. Yeah, listen. All right. Let's go. Look for anything on the ground, because that's obviously what it's got to be. Hey, you look left, I look right. Oh, yo, what is that? See that thing there? I think somebody's like living off the grid or something back here. That looks like a tenor. Where? Look at that. Where? Don't fuck with me. That ass looks like a fucking tent. Stay right in front of me. Look out like 50 yards. Okay. Does not look like a tent? What is that? I don't. I don't know if that looks like a tent or what that looks like it is. Pro where? Somebody has to be close then. It's like one of those things where we're going like a manhunt right now. I mean, I, I don't, I don't need to find anybody. To be honest with you, I just need to get them out of the woods. Guess what I was saying? I, I noticed that. I, I mean, like, like, what do you do? There's nothing on there unless somebody just chucked a radio somewhere, and now they're trying to find it, like as a joke, or. I just hope somebody didn't like fall, fall ill. And why would they have radio? What if it was like a DNR officer or something? And they I were mean, out here doing some like. Cause hunting season's coming up. Yeah, but they know, like, True. where their officers are. Yeah. They just dropped the radio. It's obviously out that way somewhere. Okay, well, I, I for one, I'm not gonna go traipsing through the woods just yet because it's not cold enough. But wow. you are more than welcome to. I'm good. I, I don't know what that is, and I don't think we should be out looking for it, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna just. I say we just go back and then we yeah. listen more, and if we hear it continue later, what? I just heard it again. It's really quick. 